Hey man, how's it going? This week in Naruto, apparently, as it starts, we kind of get the whole gist of it. And honestly, I will say this. This chapter kind of... The spoiler this week actually kind of hurt Naruto. I mean, the spoiler for earlier last week really did kind of hurt Naruto this week. Because honestly, the biggest thing for me was the fact of that... Naruto actually did kind of make the gigantic rush and shuriken and use that to cut down the tree and actually attack Madara this week. Along with the whole thing of, like, that honestly seemed to be the biggest thing in this chapter. With the whole fact that Naruto has the fucking ability to heal people or, or heal his allies whenever he fucking feels like it. And also, you know... And also, honestly... He, it, it appears as though as that he's an infinite sage, sage mode, along with his ability to just instantly just take all of the chakra from any one of the tail beasts which are in him. So, this could lead into a whole bunch of different properties for pretty much his Ross and Shurikens and everything else now. However, with him doing the Ross and Shuriken this week, he does cut down the chakra tree, but at the same time, Madara does use that to kind of heal himself, which... If we do kind of think about it like that, it's like, what the fuck was stopping, or um, or not necessarily what what was stopping him from doing that. It's just a fact of, like, makes you wonder is the fact that if Madara could always, um, I mean, like, if the tree had uh, come back, it's like, wouldn't necessarily taking him to a different area and then hitting him with, with a gigantic rise and shuriken rather than doing it right there seem like a better idea? But, give or take with how everything has been going, though. Madara, he is back at full full strength. So, honestly, we don't have to worry about Naruto and Sasuke squashing him in the next few chapters. Or, honestly, making him seem, man, as if he's just, honestly, nothing. So, there is that. And, and in between the all, all of the, Naru, uh, the Naruto-Madara talks, we do kind of have a little bit of closure with, so uh, with Sakura and Obito going into Guy and with Guy who's 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 still passed out Rockley and you know with all the craziness there I do I, I do actually find it a bit out of place for Gara to ask Naruto is um, um when he becomes the Hokage can they be allies and it struck me as strange because I'm like aren't you already allies aren't your nations already like on good terms at this point so that's a bit strange, but give or take with that, though, we do cut over to Sasuke, who pretty much does ask the second Hokage to teleport him over to where to where uh, Naruto and uh, Madara is, which that he only has a little bit of energy left to do that, and which that, in which that he does do it, and we finally get into our final steps, which is Naruto transforming again into a Sage of the Six Pass mode with a with a oddly super short jacket and now man he has these two uh these two like black black rods with him and he has that weird ass anime hair which that people kind of have been drawing him with for like for like for like a good while now where it's like spiky up at uh, at the top and it's got like the little weird ass bangs and shit however you know he does have his sage six pass mode and and Sasuke only has one uh, Renegon Eye. However, with his, though, his his appears to be a bit fucking stronger because he has, like, a few more circles in his. So, so give or take, take with how these eyes work, we do know that they get stronger the more circles they have. So, honestly, Sasuke is... Sasuke has a stronger um, Renegon than, than what Madara has. However, Madara does kind of pretty much say, yeah, man, this fight's gonna be over because I kind of have both both of them and you both only have one one singular. Which, thinking about it like that, it's like Madara, he can transform and also he only has, he, he only has one eye. Naruto can transform, Sasuke only has one eye. I kind of wonder how this would go down if... I, I kind of wonder how this would go down if he, he would have had his other eye at this point, but... Give or take with how things are going, he really isn't even getting that back. So pretty uh, until this battle is over. So pretty much with what is going on in this show, it's like the final the 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 final final battle has finally started, 
and pretty much from here on else from here on out we probably might jump into serious Dragon Ball Z terror territory I know a lot of people have been saying that recently but with how I mean especially after the guy thing with the eighth gate and the midnight moth but give or take with how all this shit is going now this is the final battle for Naruto the the entire series unless they want to cheap out after after they beat beat Madara and then kind of move on to a Naruto versus Sasuke thing which that scene that would come completely out of nowhere so pretty much until then this is an okay thing I'm all right with it after the gigantic Ross and Shuriken which they kind of already spoiled everything else kind of just fell into place and was just meh for me but hey it worked so Pretty much, what do you guys think about it? Please tell me down there in the comments section. I'll catch you on the next John Graves show. So please, keep watching anime, keep playing video games. I am out.